drives, had 14 plays, 112 yards, two touchdowns. Last two drives, 13 plays, 51 yards, and two punts. Connor Basilak back in the game after taking that shot in the last possession. will hand it off to the right side. Good, strong running by Larry Roundtree. Let's go downstairs to Lori. Like came off the field grabbing his hand. He went Damn it, Drizzly. And, and it looked like on the top of his right heel. Yeah. Good pain from that hit. Good pain down here. They put an ice bag on it. He was sort of sitting there while Brady... I don't know. They were doing some a lot of stuff back there. I don't know what the hell they were doing. He had a good grip and said, I'm good to go. Good pain from that hit. Uh, well, why are they throw flags you for? Keep, keep an eye on you can watch Bay's like through this and stuff, but continue to. You gotta keep flexing that right hand and keep it going as you get a cross our pillow with Zeke Powell. But watch him continue to flex that right hand and keep it moving and keep the ball flowing because they're gonna need him in this game. That's my grandma, y'all. I don't know what. I don't know. Second down and six down. Hit his ass. Straight hand off to Roundtree. He ran right into the middle of that defense. Jalen Carter. Shit, I was going to stay at home and look at that game. Good hat to come over here and help her with some, you know. Play fullback tied in. Can dunk a basketball. Well, there's the upside for you. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much I'm just rattling off things I do. <laughs> they said it was going to snow. I don't see no snow. I just see some drizzle and shit. You know. One difference is Jamie Carter, 6'3", 305. 59190, ain't going to get it done, is it? <laughs> hit his ass! Basilak, hit as he throws, lost it up in the air. And yeah! No! Oh! Christopher Smith had all day Damn. there, he couldn't hold on. They get Tyson Campbell here though for a little grabbing or holding on the outside before that ball got there. This will be a huge penalty. Pass interference on the defense. What? That's a soft foul. Automatic first down. Man, come on, dude. Missouri. Good drive. You got three minutes to go to half. Georgia gets the ball at half, so Missouri would love to be able to get some points here. He's a lack. Nowhere to go with that one. Go back to this pass in the fans, and it wasn't on Aziz Ogilari. It's on Tyson Campbell, you see he got a little contact right before he gets to the receiver. And there's where Damn, the Campbell? came in and ultimately is keeping his drive going. The hey, we doing it, man. These damn penalties and shit. You got to get them off the field. Basilac today, 10 out of 12, 67 yards. I ain't had no cane to bring y'all, so I don't got no cane. Hit his ass! That was incomplete. So now third down and ten coming up for Missouri. Looks like Collins just been a little bit off. That was a simple check down and trying to throw him a little bit more conviction in his back out the backfield, catch it and pick up some positive yards. But here's a a chance where if Hodge have to throw the football down the field, and we'll see just how good that hand is in this third long. There, Bannister goes in motion. Georgia bringing some extra rushers. Basilak flushed out of the pocket. Throws on the run. It is incomplete, and Georgia's defense forces a punting situation. Kiki Chisholm couldn't hold on to the football. And watch what it looks like from Basilek's point of view. And you look down the field, there was really nowhere for him to go up his football. He tried to back shoulder Chisholm there, but there was nowhere for him to go down the field. 
Good coverage on the back end for Georgia, forcing a punt. McKinnis averaging just shy of 40 yards per punt. Stands at his 20, good clean snap. No! It's still on the ground. I think George is going to. Oh, God. This nigga need to kick down, Jackson. What is you doing, boy? You should have fair catch this. Ball is like it snuck up on Karen Jackson, and they had a chance at it. Looks like Jalen Knox was the guy who had a chance to recover that football and just not able to get on it. Three Missouri guys right there. And Georgia still ends up Jesus the Christ, man. Play here as the second quarter winds down. Two fifty to go before halftime. Georgia has their football in all three of their timeouts. Georgia hasn't thrown it a bunch today. This is just their ninth attempt through the air. That one's incomplete. Now JT is five out of nine for 92 yards and a touchdown. And he didn't let that football go sooner than he probably wanted to. There was pressure in his face coming right up the middle. They were pushing that pocket. In Missouri, a lot of credit up front. They have really got to put the pressure on JT Daniels to get that football out of his hands, and that was only with a four-man rush. Second down and ten. James Cook on Nick Bolton at the bottom. Daniels going deep. Man, who is you throwing it to, man? But overthrew James Cook. Nick Bolton will look crazy. He forced the, the route. At the bottom, he jumps inside, and oh, it looks like he got away with a little grab there. But not enough for the ref to call it. And now, with two deep shots, we got a third long situation here. If you can get off the field in Missouri, if you have three consecutive possessions, of playing some good football. Oh, he got the court, got away with one right there. Kurt <laughs> comes into the formation. Pressure comes. Daniels popped as he throws it incomplete. Tried to hit Burton. Gillespie came flying in there and put the hit on JT Daniels. Gillespie comes and he is shot out of his hand right through the middle and puts his head right in the chest of JT Daniels. And this has been the MO for Ryan Walters here in the second quarter. Bring pressure. And Jordan hasn't done a good job of picking it up. Must have been from right here when he brought that pressure. Oh man, oh damn sense. Unbelievable turn of events here. Missouri is feeling it on both sides of the ball right now. Special teams getting in on it. And you see it because they're all out blitz on third down. Here's the all out blitz on fourth down to block this to get everybody in there and look at it. Just a clean block. And Missouri gets in there and now you get the football inside the one yard line. Will Moore, 53, comes up with that football, trying to reach for the end zone. You couldn't just kick the fucking ball. They have him spotted inside the one-yard line. They'll tap it. To Beatty, who was stuck for a yard loss. Georgia all over that one. I thought Beatty had a chance to, to really stretch this thing out. I know it's on the one yard line. He's trying to stick his head in there. But he has the speed to outrun a lot of people to the corner. And if he takes that thing outside, he may have a chance to walk in. But Georgia's sitting there waiting for it. 
Last time Missouri was this close, they ran to Don Reed with Bazelak, and everybody was focused on Roundtree, and he was able to walk into the end zone. See if we see something similar. Roundtree, straight handoff, dives for the end zone. Got close to the goal line, but then pushed back. Monty Rice, the first one there, amongst the Georgia. He tried to get his, um... It'll be third down and goal. Try to get his, um, uh, Najee Harris, huh? Well, this is a straight for Georgia, right in the middle of that defense. Big physical guys right in there. They do a good job of holding their the point and not allowing any movement from that Missouri offensive line. Big play here coming up on third and goal. Georgia takes a timeout with 124 to go before halftime. And don't forget Monday at 10 o'clock Eastern, 9 Central, we'll have Thinking Out Loud with Alyssa Lang, Spencer Hall, Richard Johnson, and Brandon Boykin. We'll break down the weekend on the gridiron and talk about the hottest topics for the coming week, which I would assume would include an SEC championship game. Florida and Alabama will square off in that one. Both teams making their 13th appearance in the SEC championship game. It'll be the 10th time that the Crimson Tide and the Gators have played for the championship, nor the schools even been to the SEC title game more than eight times. That's how good those two programs have been. That's going to be a fun game to watch there. All the office firepower on both those teams. Third and goal. We stay on the ground here, Chuck. I think so. I, I, I think he got a big physical back. He tried to jump over that time. He didn't go behind his pass here. He's got the tight end. Parker lined up in the backfield. Don't run that way. Roundtree trying to get to the end zone, and he does. Touchdown, Larry Roundtree and Missouri. They're the extra point away from tying this one up. Yeah, I guarantee you don't have time out. People out there say, hey, you're 215, 20 pounds. Stay behind your pads and run hard, and he did that. And that's what we see out of Larry Roundtree all year long. Physicality at his finest, and he is a guy who would not be denied. The senior in his last game in Tillman. And then watch the board is there. They got an opportunity to bring it down here. So that is a tough and big back to try to bring down with one yard to go. Big play. I'd say Larry Roundtree is an emotional player. What would make you say that, man? He's full of energy. There's some meat that's going to point out here. It is up and good. And we have a tie game with 120 to go before halftime. Larry Roundtree with a 12th rushing touchdown. He has seven of those in his last 10 quarters of work. There is where he ranks on the school's all time rushing touchdown list. Brad Smith with 45. Larry Roundtree leads the SEC with 21 attempts. Our game. So Missouri features him, even though they want to throw it. They feature him. He has 48 carries. Last two ball games coming to today, he already has nine. They will continue to feed him as the weapon starts to drop in the second half. Well, before the touchdown, this was the play right before Roundtree got into the end zone. And he and the freshman Jalen Carter. We're chatting with each other a little bit. And then the next play. You saw that chat? <laughs> and then here's what happened shortly thereafter. Roundtree gets into the end zone. At the end of this play, he and Carter would resume that conversation. That kick sails into the end zone, and Georgia will have it now. Georgia scored 14 points rather quickly in the first two possessions. Since then, Missouri's defense has stepped up. So. DJ, the, the question is, how does Georgia get some momentum back? I know you've only got 120 left, but they've got to have some success moving the chains a little bit. Yeah, and it starts on first and second down. If you look at the last couple drives, they tried to take a couple deep shots, and you, they were incomplete. Overthrows, they weren't there, and that just sent back to third and nine plus. And that's when Ryan Walton has delivered and brought some pressure on JT Daniels. But this first down call to get this drive started is probably the most important call of this drive. From the 25 yard line. Uh -uh, I set up a little screen. Jermaine Burke, who doesn't get a whole lot out of that. 
It does get out of bounds with 114 to go before halftime. Steve yeah. Missouri has started to make itself known here. That's a screen all the way out to the sideline. The guys from the inside, Jeff Pope and his, his mates are running to the football from the inside out, retracing their steps, and you would think that would have a bigger game and get nothing out of it. Into the slot. The throw, that was batted down the line of scrimmage. Almost picked off there by Martindale Alexi. And now Georgia has to be careful here. You got a minute 11 to go. You got third and long. The last couple of series, Missouri has came after Georgia and this offensive line. Can they pick up a blitz, but also can they convert? Because if you don't, you give the football back to Missouri with probably a minute to go with three timeouts. They feel really good about that. We see what they did last year for Arkansas going out to get points under a minute. Daniels throws on the run and pass is caught first down. Georgia. Nice catch on the sideline by Kiaris Jackson. 106 to go. Nice kick, Jackson. They're going to keep trying to bring pressure on Daniels and shit. The offensive line going to have to pick up the blitzes and give them enough time and stuff. The fifth year senior slowly get up it is. And a little rock Arkansas. Looks like you'll be okay, but you'll have to sit this one out. Georgia with a fresh set of downs. How about the whole game? Long, seven to fourteen for 104 yards and a touchdown. They, they go third and long, and he changes the long pass. Gets it outside the pocket, so their pressure doesn't get to him. Really good call from Todd Munson. Pass caught right at the first down line by Burton. JT Daniels and Jermaine Burton becoming close friends here since JT got the call to be the starting quarterback. Three man rush this time. JT going to that near sideline again. Finds Burton. Yeah, he caught that. Picks up an extra 10 yards down to the 36 yard line. This is an unbelievable catch. This is good turn on the outside. The defensive back is there. Tries to stick his hand in there, but Bird does a good job of securing the football, then turn around and trying to get a couple yards after the catch. The timing is there, the ball placement was really good from JT Daniels. Man, number 63 got, 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 three got three the on uh, Lamar Jackson braids in the head. Still got to go timeouts. And remember, Georgia gets the ball after halftime. Missouri bringing some heat. Daniels hit as he throws. Lost it straight up in the air. Flag comes down, but the catch is made. He made that. Pickens with the grab in the end God, zone. no, I'm Pickens, my nigga. Don't tell me you were special. What a catch by Pickens. This is why Georgia fans are so excited. Watch him strike this football. He's got a guy Ooh. all over him. And he still has the body control to come down with this football. There he caught the Oh, my God. <laughs> decline. Touchdown. Yeah. The boy Pinky. Okay. 
touchdown. The previous play is under further review. Both guys jostled for the football. The question is, when he falls to the ground, it looks like the ball may have touched the ground. But is there enough there? Man, that's a damn touchdown. Uh, again, shot. The ball can, can actually the, can touch the ground as long as it doesn't help you make the catch. Absolutely. Absolutely. Looks like a touchdown from those two angles. Yeah, that's an unbelievable catch. Man, that's a darn touchdown. Stop playing. It takes 30 years to make a damn decision. Slowed by injuries this year, but when he is this healthy, game. he is a game changer. And when we talked to JT Daniels, I asked him this. I said, is this third and whatever, and you got band coverage, and you need somebody to make a play, who are you going to lose your guy? Yeah! And he said, point blank. Are we trying to cheat? This ain't no Arvin game. Touchdown. JT Daniels. Threw it up for grabs, but the good news was he had George Pickens at the other end. <laughs> now see if we had Stetson Bennett in there, and he yeah. thought that pass, it would have been a damn interception. Yeah, no matter what, right? A lot of it's in his radius. By right, Leslie to attempt the point after. It is good. It was Pickens, a monster. Seconds to go before halftime. Missouri has all three of their timeouts. Remember, they moved. 60 yards in 45 seconds or so against Arkansas to score set up for what would be the winning field goal last week. JT Daniels. Look at what he's doing. 10 of 17, 167, a couple of touchdowns. I just go back to that third and 10 call. Uh, Missouri has been. They hit. Go set the fuck on top of me. They hit the shit out of that nigga though. Moves the quarterback outside the box. They get a big conversion. Jackson 